Hi and welcome again. Let's talk about the acceptability of GMAT score or GRE score or CAT score and most important question how important it is in one's life. Now there are lots of things you studied in school, maths, science, physics, uh, chemistry, biology, Hindi, English and whatnot. I'm not sure if you're utilizing all of those skills and subjects that you learned in the school today. You must have studied lots of subjects in your bachelor's. I'm not sure if you're utilizing all of those skills and knowledge that you learned in school or graduation today. So my point is, when it comes to GMAT or GRE or CAT or ZAT or MAT or any test, these are just entrance examinations. These are not going to be deciding uh, your life. So my point is, when it comes to entrance examinations, they hold a very strong value also when they are mandatory. For example, to get into IIMs, you need CAT score. To get into XLRI, you need ZAT score. To get into HEC Paris, you need GMAT score. But there are lots of other programs which do not even require these scores. So do these scores stand as a success pivot for uh, you? I don't think so or I don't believe in it. Because there are a lot many programs at top schools which do not require GMAT or GI or CAT scores. Well, there are certain schools which accept CAT scores as well abroad. I don't know if you know, but if you get in touch with us, we will let you know. But my point is, you can study at HEC Paris without even taking GMAT. You can still get the brand reputation of the school, the legacy of the school, join the alum club and make a great career. I know many students who have been to uh, top European schools without GMAT or GRE score. What matters to them when they choose the school? Because uh, the most important thing is not your test score. The most important thing is your skill and your knowledge. So if you consider your background, let's say if I have a degree in engineering, electrical engineering to be precise, and I want to go ahead and study masters in electrical engineering, which doesn't require GMAT or GRE to be precise. I mean, it will require GMAT because it's not a B school program. So what do you think is the relevance of GMAT or GRE when you are going to study subjects that you love and uh, subjects that you want to uh, make a career out of? So if you want to be in a part of finance, and if you're really passionate about finance, it shouldn't really matter what scores or what tests did you take two or three years ago because it wouldn't play a huge role in your life. A test is only important when it comes to the entrance criteria. It doesn't decide your career. It does, doesn't decide your wages. Of course, going to a different school may give you different kind of packages and jobs, but there are different schools and there are top schools globally which do not require these tests. So uh, do not waste lots of time uh, preparing for a test which cannot be cleared or probably which you believe is quite tough for you. There are lots of programs and opportunities for you where you don't require tests. What you require is passion. What you require is skill. What you require is goals. To have goals in your life and how to achieve them. If you can do that, I'm sure you'll do great in life. All the best.